Good morning, Bill Bernhardt. Good morning, Cheryl. How are you today? Good. What's happening today on May 20th, Tuesday? Today's Tuesday, May 20th. Well, it's, uh, well right now it's a beautiful day, and uh, things are going to come along. Uh, they say we're supposed to get a little showers later on today, which is actually going to be fantastic for the salmon fishing. Uh, we had a really good day yesterday, and it was a typical cold, nasty, kind of crappy kind of day. Uh, but the bugs like that and the salmon like that. So we had a pretty decent hatches yesterday. We had some blue-winged olives coming off. And there were reports of people catching them on dries uh, up in the McGalloway uh, section. Uh, they were catching them on uh, K Hills and blue winged olives and such. And we were nymphing down below. And we were nymphing at the, uh, the Inlet to Lake Francis yesterday. And, and we hammered some really, really nice fish. So it was a great day. Uh, and, you know, we've heard other reports. People have been uh, uh, fishing the trophy stretch and primarily nymphing through there. So that's really good. And then... <laughs> And then, uh, you know, we got water temperatures down below uh, uh, First Connecticut Lake, below the trophy stretch, which are 44 degrees. And the water temperatures up above on the McGalloway is just about 50, 51, so it's pretty good for insect activity. Why, why the difference in the temperatures? Oh, well, th that's a very good question, actually. Uh, the difference in the temperatures is, is because up above, uh, coming from Second Connecticut Lake into First Connecticut Lake, the dam up there, Second Lake Dam, is actually a top water release. So the water comes over the top of the dam, so consequently it's warmer. Where down in the trophy stretch, it's a tailwater release. So the water comes out of the bottom of the dam, and it'll run colder. And that's, uh, that's one of the reasons that we have such great trout fishing uh, all summer long. You know, we have cold, cold release waters underneath First Connecticut Lake, and we actually get some of our better uh, dry fly fishing in July and August. So we're very fortunate that way. Very good. Yeah, so but today's going to be a good day. We're going to head back out again today. Maybe go fish one of the local ponds and uh, pull some streamers. Uh, there's still been a bunch of salmon around. Uh, the ponds, we should be looking at brook trout and rainbows, and then we'll come up and uh, probably hit the uh, probably hit one of the inlets for this late day afternoon hatch type of thing. So uh, looking forward to it. We're going to have another busy weekend. we got Memorial Day coming up. A lot of things are happening, and things are coming along real good. So hopefully we'll see you soon. Well, you have a very good day, Bill. Thank you, Cheryl.